you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another Beer Guys TV brewcast. Greg Johnson, Shane Zeppelin, he... Here, uh, where, where are we? We're in your backyard. In my backyard. Hey, we're in his backyard, senor. Just, <laughs> you were going to do some wrestling. Huh? Uh, no? Nacho Libre. <laughs> Nacho Libre. There we go. <laughs> well, the reason that where all that comes from is this, uh, the beer that we're featuring on this uh, brewcast today is called Chocolate Sombrero. And you got to see the guy on the cover to understand. What? Oh, You yeah. take it from there, I'll Shane. I'll take it from here. And, uh. Well, it's it, it's it's a wrestler with the Mexican mask on, of course. He's got four arms for for some unknown reason, and got a sombrero on, and uh, he's in a ring. It's a it's a pretty pretty crazy looking label, pretty pretty fun. But hmm. anyway, it's from Clown Shoes Brewing out of Massachusetts, and again, it's called Chocolate Sombrero, a Mexican style stout, nine percent on the ABV. So Whoa. yeah, I know. So it's one of those kind of take her easy, but she's got some chilies in it, some. Uh, I can't remember which ones. I think I got on the thing here. Uh, natural chilies. It says natural flavors. Oh, better than the unnatural chilies. <laughs> uh, the ancho, ancho, A N C H O, ancho. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with ancho chilies. We're gonna say chilies. How about that? It's got some chili in it. All right. Not, but not like with not beans. Like and, beans and chili. No, 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 no. no, no. It's Actually, some, chocolate goes well in chili. They have lots, yeah, lot yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that. Yeah, I've lot heard that. Recipes call for chocolate. Have chili. you ever made it that way? Uh, yeah, well, my wife has. I uh, have not. Uh huh. Well, there you go. Yeah, I usually take the can, dump it into the pan, heat it up, good to go. Yeah, chili done, <laughs> and then wash it down with a beverage of your or choice. Or put it on the hot dog, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> For the chili dog. Oh, that's a chili dog. Now we're having a chili beer. Yeah, we should have some chili dogs to go with it. What's it's up? hot enough. Let's have a chili. <laughs> wow, well, we're about to turn into chili. a couple of chili dogs, which uh, <laughs> hot dogs anyway. But it's yeah, it's a warm day here in it mid Minnesota. Day. That's why we're not at the satellite studio. We're not at the main studio. We're I thought we'd be outside, and uh, yeah, there's no really no much of a breeze or nothing either. So it's no, kind of kind of toasty here. It uh, is very toasty. abnormally warm here, but uh, that means it's a good time to have a beer. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, let's. Uh, so crack that open. Okay? While, yeah, and and uh, actually, if you want to talk about it, I can pour. Yeah, if you want to crack and pour, <laughs> that's your job. There. I'll crack and pour. You talk. All right, I'm gonna be the yippity yapper. Well, uh, well, first of all, Clown Shoe is brewing out of Massachusetts. A fun little brewery. A uh, guy named Greg. Somebody started it a few years back, and they've made some interesting, fun beers. They recently got bought out by Harpoon, uh, Harpoon Brewing, they, uh, also the same company that owns UFO Brewing off the East Coast. They acquired them, but they're, they're allowing them to continue with their creativity. All the uh, staff from Clown Shoes went over to Harpoon and stuff, so they've been harpoonized uh, to some degree, but yet their beers are still uh, uniquely theirs, So, uh, which is always kind of fun. But anyway, Chocolate Sombrero, a ch- uh, Mexican chocolate stout. And nine uh, percent though, so it's a big one. And um, well, we're about to check it out, see how much Let's chile she's got in there, senor. Well, you can kind of smell a little bit, huh? Yeah, it's interesting a little, aroma. A little bit, kind of an edge to it. Hmm. A lot of chocolate. Yeah. I smell a lot yeah, of chocolate. Yeah, I smell one. chocolate, and I smell a little bit of that uh, chili, and uh, hmm. Not sure if I, a little bit of the malt. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, you can. You get a lot. I get a lot of that malty, sure. maltiness off that, and that chocolate, and of course that edge of chilliness. Yeah. It says here our mission to produce beer without pretension, while being free and a little crazy. I'd say that fits the bill. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the way I was just reading how they describe the guy on the uh, on the. Oh, they uh, do. Okay. They go a uh, clown shoes, uh, uh, wearing uh, a, a clown shoes wearing multi limbed gorgeous. Um, and glorious Mexican wrestler on the label, and that's the recipe for a chocolate sombrero right there. So, huh? There you go. Interesting. Yeah, got a ladder, you know, like they do, and uh, you got the ring, and of course the clown shoes at the bottom of the steps. So, fun stuff. Hmm. But you know, it, they can be as clever, clever as they like. It still has to be have a good beer. So, you know, yeah, it comes beer down, has to taste good. Yep. This will get you. I mean, you're you're. I'm no. For me, I'm I'm in the liquor store and it is a lot of times confusing it's like There's how so do you many choose? craft beers now and then some of them don't even have a description on the label oh, right so then it's hard to he's going to take a chance and buy a six pack of that and yeah, what if and i don't like, like it you know 14 bucks and yeah and then if i don't like it then i'm stuck with it and and but if they at least have some kind of a um uh descriptive label right talks about you know what what you're what you can expect 
So at least, well, you know, if it's a stout and, and I'm looking for the chocolatey, I expect, you know, it says it, I'll, I expect that. Sure. If it says it's kind of more vanilla, if it's more yeah, uh, coffee. coffee. Yep. Um, but at least you know what to expect. But when it says just, uh, you yeah. know, some strange stout and it, that's <laughs> exactly. it. You're taking a chance. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Rolling well. the old dice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's what's nice uh, about some of these. At least it gives you a descriptive in the title. But they'll get you with the labels. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then sometimes we've been disappointed before. Oh, for sure. So, so it's, and if it's, they if they don't um, back it up with flavor, yeah, then it's like, well, okay, another yeah. gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> right. And well, I've tried some other clown shoes products, and they've they've, they've been pretty good. So uh, you're wearing your clown shoes today, man. Yeah, <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Both with my clown shorts and my uh, <laughs> clown white legs. Uh, can't help it. <laughs> That's too, okay. I too hot my, to wear pants today. I got my cl clown uh, skull cap on <laughs> and my clown nose. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't yeah. notice. I mean, you should see them without this stuff. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't recognize them. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, do uh, you want to take a break? I think we'll back? take a break. We'll we're come gonna back. check out. We're gonna check this out in the meantime, huh, Senor? See, si. si, Senor Shane. See, si. we'll be back after this break on Beer Guys TV. <laughs> We know that one serving just isn't enough, so there's more Beer Guys TV on tap and coming up. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. Well, hola everyone, and welcome hola. back. <laughs> welcome back to the Beer Guys TV Brewcast. Greg and Shane in the backyard on a hot summer day here in Minnesota. Uh, we are checking out the uh, uh, clown shoes uh, offering called uh, um, Chocolate Sombrero. Hey, see a chocolate sombrero. It's a Mexican style stout, and uh, it comes in at nine ABVs. And uh, during the break, anyway, and uh, we got a chance to sip this a little bit and. Uh, Wow, what do you think, Shane? Um, you, you can pick up on the chili. Yeah, you can pick up on the chili. So, so that, that, that chili's there. Uh, I kind of like it. Yeah? I do. I uh, it, It's got a lot of chocolate going on, mm -hmm. but it, and it's also sweet. Yeah, it, you're right. Yep. It's a, a, and not a hint of sweetness. I mean, it's, you know, almost candy sweet. And, and then to get that chili in there, the chili kind of gives it a different edge. It does, yeah. It's not spicy. I mean, it's not like a, you'd think of a chili spice, but it's got that flavor. Yeah. Like chili yeah, spice like, flavor. I don't know what beer it was we tried. That actually had a spicy. Yeah, that yeah. was actually like, I think, I, I think I scared Jerry that one. <laughs> but, yeah, this one just has the flavor, that, that yeah. kind of edge to it. So um, It's got some, you can see, of course, how the sugar is on there. Yeah. Get close to the. Uh, see, he's the. He's the brewcast master over here. So kind of get that. He runs the controls. I just talk and drink the beer. But so it's got, uh, I guess, what you'd call some lacing, more or less. It's it doesn't like the yeah. foam isn't there, but you can see it just colors the glass. Yeah, so right. So that's kind of the sugar sticking to it. Um, but I like it. I like it as a stout. I think it'd be a good dessert beer. Mm -hmm. um, and especially after a meal of uh, like a. If you have a Mexican dish, I'm gonna say go good with some uh, enchiladas and rice mm -hmm. and uh, some guacamole and uh, probably not with the meal, but after. Yeah, yeah, I think you're probably right. I'd be happy for that. Might, yeah, 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 some some fried ice cream <laughs> yeah. or some flan. Got some flan. I like that. Do you like that? Yeah. Stop it now! You're making me hungry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, well, for it's, me, it's a, it's definitely try it. Probably a buy it. I'd, it probably lasts me a while. A six pack would last me a while. Right. You know, Especially at nine percent, one and done. Probably. Yep. 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 But uh, for a good dessert beer, I I do like it actually. Huh. Well, um, I wonder so if they'll if they'll uh, if they'll keep it going there at Clown Shoes Brewing again. Being they were bought out by Harpoon, we'll see if they keep it going. I, I would hope so. This is yeah. pretty good. So you said a, a try it. A try it, but but edgy and buy it. So I mean, it's a strong try it, light buy it. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm kind of in the same department. It's a definite try it, uh, especially in the category that it's in. Uh, and I, I think I think the. Uh, 
the, the chilies in there give it a different edge, but overall I'd say two strong triads. Yeah, well, I would say. Oh, incoming. We, <laughs> hey, that's our clue. We better run we, for the border. So, <laughs> well, we have a... That's close by. We have a helicopter coming over. Yeah, there's a chopper. Well, it's, that chopper. Yeah, with that, he's actually going. Oh, well, he's heading out. He's, he's heading, heading south. Down. Maybe he's going to. Uh, he's going uh, west. Maybe they're maybe they're making a tour. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> so, they just stopped in to see the beer guys. Yeah. The they, review. They were up there. They're they hovering and they were watching and we waved. And, they said, yeah. "Well, look at those two clown shoes down there." <laughs> <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Oh boy. All, All right. right. A couple of strong triads. Give yeah. it. Give it a chance. Let us know what you think. Feel free to uh, follow us on our Facebook page, and we got always lots of fun stuff on there. And. Uh, Feel free to comment. Also on our Twitter page, and uh, of course YouTube, YouTube as well. Follow us on there. So we got all kinds of opportunities. And right. of course our website at BeerGuysTV.com. So I guess that's uh, gonna wrap it up for this one, huh, Shane. Yeah. All right. For Shane Zeppelin, I'm Greg Johnson, and uh, until next time, adios and <laughs> beers <laughs> to you. What would that be in, in uh, Spanish? I, I don't know. Uh, cervezas, tu señor. I don't. Ah, know. there you go. It's the best well, I can do. It's in here. Oh, no, in that case. You see, we don't want to get up. Uh, <laughs>